Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Hi. Minister. I would, I would maybe be tempted to believe you if the government was actually willing to rule out the question, yeah. this uh, legislation being used to expand the fossil fuel industry. And I am so sick and tired of the major parties pointing at independents and minor parties and saying, there are some in this chamber that may disagree with this. But in the real world, it's not us. It's climate scientists. It's experts. It's most people in the community. You wonder why the, the major parties' votes are tanking. It's because they've got a unity ticket on not taking climate action. And you talk about futures and the Pacific and development. It's so disingenuous. You cannot talk about the transition at the same time that you've got legislation that could potentially expand the fossil fuel industry and you won't even rule that out. You want to talk about all the other stuff, the experimental stuff, the London Protocol, all this stuff, you know, harmonisation, ratifying this or that protocol, but you won't rule out this being used to expand the fossil fuel industry. And you want to talk about the future. There's our future up there, young people up there. And what are we doing in this place? We are debating legislation that will allow projects like Barossa to go ahead. The dirtiest offshore gas project in Australia's history. A CO2 content that we've never considered exploiting gas with that much CO2 before. But ha, here's a solution. Just allow Santos to pump this uh, CO2 down and hopefully they, they can collect enough of it. And she'll be right. You look at what happened with Gorgon, where it was approved on the basis that they would capture 80% of their CO2. And they've just vented most of it. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll find the figures, but it's, you know, they've maybe sequestered 1.6 million tonnes and they've vented 3.4. And this is what we're doing to young people's futures. We've got major parties who are in the pocket of the fossil fuel industry. And they, they'll forever deny it. But what's the, what, what other explanation are we, meant to, are we meant to go with, where you're making decisions that aren't based on common sense, aren't based on what scientists are telling us, aren't based on what most Australians want, a livable future, uh, security for their family, being able to enjoy this incredible continent. And we have ecosystems on the brink here in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef struggling. And yet you continue to, to dance around this legislation talking about how this, is, this isn't really about expanding the fossil fuel industry, but you won't rule that out. It's, ex it's extraordinary. And more Australians need to know what's, what's going on here. You've got the coalition who won't vote for anything. Like, show me anything that they'll vote for. But legislation that potentially expands the fossil fuel industry, now there's something that they'll get behind. And they sit there quietly. I think Senator Dunham is maybe the only person to have spoken on this, on this bill as the, as the shadow um, environment uh, spokesperson. But just quiet. And meanwhile, we, we, we have uh, the Labor government trying to explain away this in, in, in nice terms, make it sound good. This bill stinks. You won't find, you, you won't find uh, too many people um, who, who know about where we are in terms of the climate crisis and what a transition actually looks like. A transition looks like moving away from fossil fuels, not expanding the fossil fuel industry. So for the young people up there, the government has this bill, which does a whole bunch of things. One of the things it could do is allow new gas projects to go ahead because someone like Santos can pipe their CO2 <coughs> under the ocean to a neighbouring country. Maybe, hopefully. And that, that's off our books then. Santos can deal with their scope one and two emissions and send their gas overseas. And one of the other things, and I, I know this is something that I think the entire crossbench is um, united on, and we've heard uh, yesterday the minister talk about the benefits of the gas industry to Australia. I would like to know, this is my question of five minutes to get there, 
Um, I would like to know how much petroleum resource rent tax have Australians received from offshore LNG uh, production to date? Minister. <clears throat> 